Takeda has it over Wiseman, and that's a missed shot. Wiseman did a good job contesting it. Here he is running the floor, and he's rejected by Keita. Wiseman gets his first shot since returning. They are eager to get him back and going. Wiseman misses the shot, second chance, and he jams it with authority on Baker. Stewart trying to make his move, and he gets picked by Pemberton. Nice, finds Wiseman. Wiseman, look out! A two-hand jam for the second-year big man in transition, finishing above the rim for the second time tonight. Out to Taylor for three, that's off. Second chance, Chioza finds Wiseman, who scores it on Keita. Chioza attacking, draws contact, and no, a three-point opportunity. First action in nearly 11 months. He has 12.6 rebounds. He's played 15 minutes, and he's back in the game now. He has the ball. The turnaround is good. Pemberton back on him. Shot clock winding down. The floater over Wiseman is no good. Nice contest by James Wiseman. And Chioza finds Wiseman. And another jam. His third dunk of the night. Wiseman, the jumper, is good. James Wiseman looking more and more comfortable as this game goes on. I feel great. I was just out there just, you know, playing my game, doing what I do. Uh, I've been working out for the past year, so I'm just happy to be out there, just be running again, you know, just getting up and down. So. What were the nerves on, I guess, for the hour? Uh, I was nervous a lot, but, like, I meditated this morning, so it kind of chilled, like, calmed me down. And also, I played 2K last night, so, like, you know, I was just, like, in buckets with KD, so. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say to yourself as you took the floor? It looked like you were, it's probably part of your routine, but what was the kind of the words you were saying to yourself when you took the floor there? Um, just like praying to God, um, just praying to God and really just um, telling myself just to take it one day at a time because it's a long process. So just take it one day at a time and just like, you know, just make sure I'll be patient with myself. You had that. Sorry, did things get a little easier once you scored that first bucket? Yeah, it did. Uh, I just had to just get like comfortable and just get back because. My drive and play again in a whole year, so I just had to get back out there and get comfortable. So. You had that first kind of like put back dunk, you could see your emotions out of it. What did that feel like to just kind of throw down a big dunk like that? Uh, that felt good. Uh, it reminded me of myself last year, so mm -hmm. yeah, it felt good. What was your favorite thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a rebound, put back in. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Given how long this process has been, is it kind of just cathartic just being out there? Because all the starts. Yeah, really just like the excitement, like the fans coming out and just supporting me and really just my teammates supporting me as well. So really just going out there and just being patient and taking my time. Um, just going out there and just having fun. So. Did you get any texts or calls today from staff or Draymond or any of the vets? Yeah, uh, basically my whole team just telling me like, why did I have fun and just good luck. So, yeah. How does it feel good about your thing? Okay, coming out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Man, it felt like a dream because it's been like 10 months a year, and I ain't even like I was just shocked to be out there, but I was grateful and super appreciative to be out there as well. So, yeah. what's your reaction? Uh, I mean, I look at it as opportunity, but I don't look at it as a demotion or anything. I look at it as an opportunity to get better because I want to be the best version of myself. So, I just take every day like it's my last and I just go out there and just play hard. So what type of challenge is that to go on the floor and have to have a first game back with some personnel that you might not be all that familiar with? Uh, really just uh, I study a lot, but like just looking at the personnel from last night, uh like I was studying the personnel and just you know taking my time so I'm out there and just getting comfortable. That's that's really it. So. Talk your recovery about how you wanted to put on muscle and really get stronger. Do you feel a difference out there? Yeah, I feel a huge difference, like putting on like 10, 15 pounds of muscle uh, this off season and just going out there and just being comfortable uh, within myself. So, yeah, I feel good. How do you feel like the year? Where do you feel like strength? Uh, from the rebounds, from the rebounds, especially from last year. So, yeah, I say that most definitely. You do that I mean, I had a brace on, so I could, so I could do is just like work on my upper body, like the whole summer. So that's the only like chance I had. Really. So. If you're being critical, what was what's the thing that you're going to look at the most to try and overcome the next the next moment? I guess. 
um, just have even more fun. Can go out there and have fun, put a smile on my face, and just go out there and play basketball. Do what I love to do. Man, I was super upset. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get some burn, get some more burn. But I mean, it's all good. Just all glory be to God. I'm just perfect to be out there, just be playing. So, yeah. How'd you win the field? Uh, I mean, it felt good. Like first four minutes, like I had to get comfortable, and then like, but the second half, that's when I kind of like found myself a little bit. That's when I went out there and did my thing. So. To see you kind of talking with the Rickler on the sidelines, getting your legs going, was it tough to kind of sit down and kind of get cool for a second and then to go back to the floor a little bit? No, I felt fine. I felt fine. I was on the bench just, like, trying to see what I can do next to contribute to the team. So mm-hmm. that's not that I was thinking about. Anytime you come back from such a big injury like this, I feel like there's got to be a little bit of a transit, transition period and getting your confidence back, getting more confident in your body and trusting your body. Where do you feel like you're at right now with your confidence? I feel like my confidence is building. It's going to build by each game. So I just got to keep playing. That's really it. So, yeah. But today I feel good. Though. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I feel good. Just went out there, just was comfortable with my teammates. Out there, have uh, had a lot of fun and just like showing that excitement again. So, had and, a lot of fun. And did uh, like specifically speaking, Cool or Kaminga, did they give you any specific like tips or, or from their experience in the G League? Uh, D League takes me um, Steph and uh, also Iggy takes me too. Just like just go out there and just do things to go out there and just play hard. It's really and just have fun. So. And uh, when you kind of first heard that you leave, how open were you to, like, the process of coming down here and kind of rehabbing here? Man, what? Like, I, mean, I just love to play basketball. I don't, I don't care about all the media and all the other stuff. I just want to play basketball. That's what I love to do. So, like, I was happy. I was excited. And, <laughs> and yeah, just got in my defense. Have you practiced that at all? Or? Um, yeah, I literally just got in, but I got a good shoot around today, and uh, we're going to practice uh, tomorrow or maybe Saturday, and we should be ready. And then uh, just last thing, uh, your overall experience, I know it's short, but your overall experience is from tonight's game, and then just being around the guys that shoot around, like, can you just talk to the talent level of the, the guys that are playing here in the G League? Man, everybody is talented in the G League, and you can't ever underestimate anybody down here, so I mean... Like, it was fun out there, just going out there and just playing with my teammates to just them showing me support. Like, this is my first game back. So, I mean, I feel good. And we as a collective unit felt good as well. So. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>